James Drescher here, Nebraska High School official. So what we're trying to do here, uh, we're going to call this Wrestling Rules 101. So hopefully we can provide some transparency and some rules knowledge to some fans and coaches, but also to help you younger officials to help bring you along the way at a little bit of a quicker pace to understand the sport just a little bit better and bring some confidence to your officiating game. So one of the things I want to bring to you here is knowing the pinning area. A lot of people think it's just the shoulders, but if you look at the rule book, the pinning area consists from about here to right about where the singlet starts curving around. So your pinning area is about this big. So when younger officials, when you're looking for a fall, this entire area right here is the pinning area. Also, the pinning area is your only supporting point if you're a defensive wrestler on your back. This is the pinning area and you only need a little sliver of the pinning area to be inside the circle to get pinned. So in this situation, as, as I'm an official here, I'm looking here and I'm staying on the line and I can notice, yes, the offensive wrestler is completely out of bounds, but looking here, like I said earlier, the pinning area, a little bit of that pinning area is still within that, inside the circle, so we can still count near fall or the offensive guy can continue to work towards a fall here. So some clarification that I want to do here next is on those wrestling rules 101 is stalling on the edge of the mat. How to call stalling on the edge of the mat and also how to do preventive officiating on the edge of the mat so potentially you don't have to make that stall call but you can be transparent without coaching either one of the wrestlers but inform both of them they need to circle on the edge better. Red's got good action here. So what I'm looking at here is I saw that blue went directly off the mat. So here's how I'll address the situation to make sure that I can be transparent with the wrestlers and coaches without coaching the athletes. Gentlemen, we need to circle on the edge a little bit better. This one's on me, next one's on you. Circle, stalling, green. So the next rule I want to clarify is stalling on the top man when we come from the referee's position to a standing position. Rule 7, 6, 4D states, when a wrestler stays behind the opponent while on the feet making no attempt to return the opponent to the mat, that can be stalling. Top, cover. Stalling red, stalling red. So here's a situation where we'll have one attempt and then there's probably a good period of time where the red wrestler doesn't return to the mat to get a stalling call. Set. There's a, here's a decent attempt for a return. I'm looking for action. I'm not seeing any action on red. Red, you're stalling, stalling, red. So stalling is probably one of the most controversial calls in wrestling because it's judgment of the official on how he interprets stalling. So what I want to do here is provide a little transparency between coaches and officials. As a senior official, I notice that these smaller little club level tournaments, a lot of our younger officials are getting detoured away from officiating just by the way that they're getting addressed by coaches. So in a stalling situation, remember it's the judgment of the official and any time that you question the judgment of the official, you can get a coach's misconduct, okay? But to prevent that, because we don't want any drama and our job as an official is to get through the day without being seen, but a stalling call, not everybody's gonna agree. And every official might call stalling a little bit different or their timing might be different. So when a coach is coming to the table, it's best to approach the official and ask them what they saw instead of questioning their judgment. Some coaches will come to the table, that's a terrible call, that's a terrible call. At that point in time, you're questioning the judgment of the official and you can get a coach's misconduct. Now, if you approach the table, ask the official what he saw there or ask for clarification and we will both leave the table in a good situation where we're both transparent, the coach knows what the official's looking for and the official respects that coach because the coach asks the official in a nice, polite manner. 
In this situation, we're going to be looking for a stalling cone. Set. Improved. Improved. So I'm noticing here, Blue's covering the hips completely, right? He's not working side to side. He's making it look like he's working, throwing a couple halves in there, but I don't believe it. So this is all what I'm thinking in my head. So after a little bit of time, I'm seeing he's overpowered red. I've got green stalling. The reason why I called stalling there, he's covering the hips, he's not working side to side, and he's not really actively working for a fall. So in my opinion, that is stalling for not actively working for a fall to score points.